All right, so today we will be sending an email with an attachment using Python. So this is what we have already done. I'll drop a link to this tutorial. It just sends an uh, sends an email, and but now we will be adding attachment to this. So this is pretty simple, very easy, guys. What you need to do is first we just need to open the file like we do in uh, normal Python things. So what do we do? We go with open. Uh, let's say uh, okay, what is this? So we will also be receiving a file name here from wherever we will be calling the send mail function. So let's say open the file name that is received, right? And open that in this read binary mode, read binary mode, and let's open this as attachment. So this means we will be referencing this as attachment. And now we first create a new part that will be attached to the email. So let's call this. This will be a MIME based part and so now the main type will be application and this will be this will be an octet stream because this will be attached as a stream and now what do we do we just need to set the payload of this part set payload as this attachment dot read all right we read the attachment and that will be set as the payload so this is pretty much it we have the part ready and now we just attach this part to our message this message now if the you didn't see this uh, how I did this you can check out the video the first part I'll have the link in the description and I think also in some of the cards all right so we have a part ready so what do we need to do we need to encode this thing encode to base 64 all right, so that we can send it. So, what do we do? We use encoders. I think I'll have this here. You have to import this and main mime base too. So we use encoders dot encode to base sixty four. So what do you want to encode? You want to encode the part. All right. So once that is encoded, what do you do? You do part dot add header and what is the header so header is content disposition and what is the content it is an attachment right and the file name is the file name all right yep I think this is it all right now and then what do we need to do so we have our encode we have our part ready we have uh, encoded it, and we have headers to our part so what do we do we just attach the part to our message the rest of the message all right yep so we did attach it now and finally what we are doing is yep it's the same thing that we were doing before we just send it now one more thing one quick tip that you want to know is now uh, if you add if you want to add a sender name like this what you need to do is you need to do something like this right you need the name let's say I'll have a name here you in the sender in the from field you have the name right and then and then you enclose your email in something like this what is it called this greater than and less than sign so this is how you set the message from field if you want this name to appear as I have shown in the screenshot before like this so it has to be something like this uh, we shall and from the email we shall at the rate gmail.com so this something in this format should be should be set as this from field so that this we shall will be visible in the uh, from field whenever the mail is received in the receiver's email so yeah this is it now so accordingly we need to change where we are calling this function so then the second thing it was the sender name right so just write sender name here and the file that you want to upload let's say uh, we have a file here right so we have a zip file and so this is how we just call our send mail function that we just created here and that is it that's how you attach a file all right now 
Let's try it out. <laughs> okay, where was the inspector? Okay, why am I not able to see it? God damn, all right, no worries. I'll just go to my work. Thanks. Python. Where did I do that? Okay, maybe this one. Yep, so let's just zip this itself. Okay, and let's change it to finally because that's what we had written in our uh, demo usage. Now I open a command line here and I just send the email using Python demo usage. Now I'll definitely get an error because <laughs> this username and password is not correct. So you can just put your own sender email and password correct things and you'll be ready to go. Peace out.